And it's an exciting day at the Mount Clemens Ice Arena. We saw Nick Monticelli out there live with a lot of talented folks, and this weekend marks the 20th anniversary of their spring skating show. How about that? This year's theme is skating through time. Our Nick Monticelli, as Lauren mentioned, is live there. And Nick, tell us more about who's performing at this year's event. Well, here's the bottom line, Sean. Because the wings are already out of the playoffs and we have to be around the ice somehow, this is the next to best thing. In fact, it may be better considering how they performed on the ice this year. All right, so good morning, everybody. Live here at the Mount Clemens Ice Arena. And this, as you mentioned, is the Skating Through Time show. They do a show every single year. This one is their 20th. Again, as you mentioned, it is going to be the best one ever, A, because Minnie is in charge, and B, because Allie is in the show. So the show itself is awesome. You already told me that, but tell me why. Well, we have professional, recreational, and competitive skaters from the community that actually skate in the show. We have about 40 skaters this year, including the um, men's national champion and the 2005 Italian national champion. There's Italians and on the ice? <laughs> there is going to be one today. He'll be throwing a girl around, so it's pretty fun to watch. A little scary. All right, so there are some people at home who love skating and have seen it hundreds of times. There are some who have never seen it before. What would you say to somebody who says, maybe I should go check that out? I would say definitely. It is an amazing sport that is actually what we call a life sport. So, you know, kids are going to go to field trips and they're going to come to the ice arena and you want your kid to know how to skate. We have kids skate at three years old. We have 90 year olds that still come out here and just get the physical fitness in. Excellent. All right. So I want to jump over here to, over here to Allie because I was told that you started skating right out of the womb. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I started skating at seven years old. I was in the Learn to Skate program and my first day, Mindy pulled me aside because I was watching the Olympics with my grandma like a couple weeks before and I was inspired by all the skaters and my grandma loved figure skating so she wanted to get me into it. So during Learn to Skate on the first day I tried to attempt something that I saw on TV. Uh, Mindy saw it and saw that I had talent and she asked me where my mom was and <laughs> she had me go search I, for her. I need this permission slip signed. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was in trouble. I was like, what did I do? So I found my mom and she talked to my mom about getting me into competitive figure skating and at first my mom was like, isn't that really expensive? You should, uh, I don't want to do that. And Mindy was telling her like how I could have all these opportunities and my mom was in. And, and it can be affordable. How, how much fun is it though? It's so much fun. It's something I do every single day and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Excellent. All right, well, instead of talking about it, let's see it. We're going to spend just a few seconds here with Allie Noel on the ice. I'm going to get out of the way and duck out of the camera. In the meantime, I want to put the information up on your screen. If you want to come to this show, Skating Through Time here at the Mont Clemens Ice Arena, it starts today. The last show is 2 p.m. Tickets are $10 at the door as we come back out here live. I'm going to stop talking, and Allie is going to show you what ice skating is all about. Alley up at 6 a.m. running that ice like she owns it. Can you skate? No. I would love to take <laughs> lessons. I wonder if they give lessons after today's show. Oh, uh, yeah. Today, figure skaters in Mount Clemens will be skating through time. And if you check out this video behind me, you can see these, these folks, they've done this before at the Mount Clemens Ice Arena. And that's where Nick Monticelli is live this morning. So walk us through this spring show, Nick. This is a big anniversary for them. It's a big deal for them. They've got all of their fantastic skaters together. <clears throat> Pardon me, I, I haven't had enough coffee yet. And they've got a fantastic show put together for you, 20 years, as you mentioned. And the skaters, the age ranges are phenomenal, all the way down to a little three-year-old girl, all the way up to, and no offense, but one that's a little bit older. <laughs> How old are you, Carly? I am 35. 35. She doesn't look it at all. She doesn't act it either, frankly. Uh, <laughs> uh, but has it been difficult? I mean, you've got some young girls with maybe more energy. You're kind of competing against them, aren't you? Yes, actually, the girl that got fourth place was 11 years younger than I was. So you just won a bronze medal two weeks ago in Ann Arbor at the national championship. Um, are you proud of that, considering that you may be a little older? <laughs> yes, especially because I actually uh, got the highest amount of points that I've ever gotten in any competition as an adult. So that was really great. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so the show today sounds like it's a really good event for people who are great uh, skating enthusiasts or not so much at all. Oh, everything. Everything. We got things for everything. Are there, are there flips and jumps and oh, people? Oh, yes. Yeah. Exciting, excitement and magic. 
There's magic here, too. Oh, there sure is. <laughs> All right. So you've got a little portion you want to show us? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so Carly's going to get ready. I'm going to tell you more about the show, Skating Through Time. Their last show was today at 2 o'clock here at the Mount Clemens Ice Arena. Tickets can be purchased at the door. It's only $10, and they have room for you. If you get here late, there's still standing room only room. So I'm going to get out of the way. Carly is going to perform. Carly, it's your show now. Beauty and the music together, you get to see it all up close today in Mount Clemens. Yeah, and forget if you think that skating is just a winter activity, yeah. Andrew. They really do this all year round. So all right, and we are skating through time today, and you can too at the Mount Clemens Ice Arena celebrating their 20th spring skating show. Pretty cool idea. Nick Monticelli is there live. Nick, did you pack your skates? Are you a skater? Uh, a hockey player who hasn't skated in so many years would probably be a bad idea to go back on the ice. I just fall a lot and be made fun of by the girls here who can skate a lot better than I can, including Shelby Reed, who is a medalist and a fantastic skater. First of all, today's show is the last one of this season, or of this show anyway, but it's amazing. Tell me why. Uh, we just have so many skaters of all these different ages who work so hard, and it's so inspiring to see their work here out on the ice. So the ages go from three all the way up to 35, but you even have some people who are uh, world-renowned coming back here to perform? Right. We have skaters from all over the world. These professional skaters, they travel. They're going to all seven continents skating. That's awesome. Okay, so you started at, I was told, a late age, 11 years old. That's late? Yeah, that's very late. A lot of kids start when they're about three or four years old. So. And now you're a medalist. Right. It all took right. a lot of hours. Do you want to show us what you got? Yes. Okay, so that's Shelby. I'm going to talk more about the show real quickly. The last show, Skating Through Time, is at 2 p.m. today. Tickets are only $10, and we are, of course, at the Mount Clemens Ice Arena. I'm out of the way. Shelby, take it away. Shelby may have started late in her career, but she worked her way up to a gold medal, and it shows. I bet that place is going to be packed today, Andrew. Oh, you got that right. We have sunshine in Mount Clemens and all across southeast Michigan, dry roads as well. Temperatures starting off on the chilly side in the 30s currently, but we'll see milder conditions and a sunny Sunday on tap.